What's up, everyone? This is Christian Duke, and you're watching Strength Addicts right here on Instagram, IG Live, brought to you courtesy of BlackstoneLabs.com, the holy grail of bodybuilding supplements. Remember, if you're looking to get involved in the fitness industry, there is no better way to do so than by applying to join the Blackstone Labs Legion. Also, big thank you to our supporting sponsor, TitanMedicalCenter.com, for all your TRT, medical weight loss, amino therapies, glutathione, ECA stacks, and so much more. And also, be sure to check out Team Titan today. So I'm super excited today because I've got Melanie Maldonado here. This is actually my first wellness interview. And we're going to talk a little bit about that when she comes on. But I want to remind all of you to head on over to the Nutrition Factory Instagram watch the stories, get up to the poll that involves Blackstone Labs, and make sure to vote because I'm in the winning business. I like to win. The Legion likes to win. We got to bring it home. We got to bring the win home. So head over to Nutrition Factory, vote for Blackstone Labs, and we're going to see, you know, we're going to go round after round after round. We're going to win them all. We're going to win them all. All right. So let me bring Melanie on here, and we're going to chat about I think she brings a lot to the table, and I want you guys to learn about her journey. What's up? Hey, what's up? How are you? Doing well. You guys are buffering right now. Don't see okay. y'all quite yet. There you go. Sweet. Good. Very cool. Yeah, I saw buffering a little bit, too. So, yeah, there's, like, tons to talk about. I, I actually wrote little notes here. And um, I really, first of all, I want to thank you for doing the interview because – I think we talked about it just a couple of days ago. So I really do appreciate that. I appreciate you guys having me. I'm really excited. Absolutely. And, you know, so you're from the Bronx, one of the five boroughs in New York City, the coolest city on the planet. <laughs> and so tell us a little bit about I just want to just jump right into it because I, I, I told the folks that you are actually moving into wellness and I've got the wellness competitors page, which is blowing up. But before we get into that, Talk to us a little bit about how you discovered bodybuilding and that first uh, prep where you prepped yourself. So in 2015, I got really into just exercising, training, and just the fun of it. And then I moved out to Ackworth and I started training at Stax Gym and it just became a thing like bodybuilding was that ish. And I started studying it. I asked a lot of questions, some of my mentors there, but I decided to just go off on a limb because I had dieted myself before. I'm like, you know what? Let me just try. I've competed in dance before, but never bodybuilding. So I did it. I ended up getting first in my category, shockingly. I'm like, holy crap, I did this. And then the following year, I decided to take it a step further and I did the Lee Haney and we stuck to bikini. And it's just going up from there. But I noticed my body started changing, my muscle maturity. And I'm like, man, I'm getting kind of thick. And I just always felt like we need a category. We need something for me to fit in. And now wellness is blowing up its bananas. Mm -hmm. So, and then I came on to Blackstone last year. My friend Dragon got me on the Legion. And ever since then, it's been such a blessing. That's so cool. You know, and because, you know, for the folks that don't know, you know, uh, Melanie's Puerto Rican. I'm Spanish, uh, you know, and, and, and the reason that I mentioned that, not to stereotype, but, you know, a lot of Latin competitors, particularly the ladies, have bigger wheels. That's yep. not fat. That's not plump. That's muscle. And so the thing is for you to basically squeeze into bikini, it, it, it it's worse than losing fat. You have to, like, lose muscle. Oh, yeah. I dropped over 30 pounds. My first prep, I was in my I'm almost 150 and I dropped down to about 115 for my first prep. Never lost that much weight before. I had to go extremely low. Yeah. And that's the problem too, because I mean, you have like, um, well, thick, I think thick is really the best, the best, you know, the best uh, adjective, I guess, because you take like a volleyball player, that's pure muscle, but it is thick. And so, you know, before that, and, and wellness is not like a new creation. It's always been around. It's always been successful, like in Brazil, Eastern Europe, throughout Latin America. But, you know, now that it is with us in the MPC and the I Pro League, the gold standard of physique-based sports, I think that's a game changer. And so for you, I know that you had talked about working with Mitch Praise, and we'll, we'll talk about him a little bit later. But, you know, getting, you know, that first prep under your belt must have been like, you know, very impressive. But but also very daunting if you had no one there. I mean, it's 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 so and it usually 
I've spoken to a lot of competitors that have actually walked that path where they want to compete so badly. They're not going to wait. They're just going to do it. But, but it comes at a price when you prep yourself. It's like, it, it's almost like, like, you know, you're like feeling your way around in the dark. Oh, yeah, completely. I mean, I like I said, I dieted myself before bodybuilding, you know, for fun, just for me to feel better to feel good. But when I did that prep, I became so submerged in it, it became like obsessive every day, every day. And I, and like I said, I asked many people I work with House of Pain um, for a little bit there. But again, I ended up doing my own dieting, my own training. And when I got on that stage, it's funny, because my gym was like, what? She always comes in here with the hoodie. What in the world? And it, it's hard, you know, and then I knew, trying to take it from a strong point of view, learning, you gotta have a coach, you gotta have somebody that can guide you, because I can push myself only so far, you know, I'm a teacher. But if you don't have something extra there, you can only go so far. So it was fun. It was really hard. I mean, I have never dropped that much weight on my own. And then when I did the Lee Haney, it was you know, structured. It was, you know, it was great. And that's when I started to learn more how to do things the right way in bodybuilding. You can't rush the process. It takes time. I mean, I've been doing this since 2015. And, you know, I didn't get on stage till what, two years later. So it takes time. But it is, it was very hard. And you've been active with dance, like, for like ever right since you were like three years old i think you said yeah i've been dancing since i was three I started dancing in new york in the bronx and then we moved to atlanta and i've just been dancing since then i've been teaching over 10 years and uh it's awesome and i think that's where I also genetically yes being boricua i get the legs from that but dance everything is all legs so definitely ballet i feel like has done something for me to change categories for good so I asked you, um, before we did this uh, live, I asked you your favorite Blackstone Lab supplements. I always like to ask that. Sometimes I like to say, what's your top three or what's your go-to? But but I guess, like, I just, just ask you, like, what are your favorite products, um, flavors, and, and all? So um, last year, speaking of my good friend Dragon, he got me to get on adrenal care because, you know, I was dieting last year. I was going to do NPC Universe, but COVID kind of threw me off there. But I was using adrenal care. I also like the Blackstone, I believe is the Mint Cool Reloaded. Yeah, Hype Reloaded, um, the, I think it's Lime Mint Cool. I use that a lot. For me, it reminds me of summertime. So Blackstone's always has that fruity kind of like a little zest to it flavor because sometimes you know with your bcas and your you know your um pre-workouts they kind of get old but they don't they're um also uh, anything chocolate i love chocolate protein and they're my go-to of course you know it's blackstone hey definitely definitely <laughs> no and, and you had mentioned that that you like the chocolate isolation i actually just I just finished the chocolate isolation. I'm on the spooky candy now, which is really, really good. Mm. But I, I'm, I'm like you. I'm a big fan of like the basic flavors, chocolate, especially vanilla, because the vanilla Blackstone Labs isolation is really good, and you can do just about anything with vanilla. Vanilla is like a, I, I, I feel like Bob Ross, but it's almost like a canvas. You can do yeah. anything with vanilla. You know, you can go anywhere you want with it. You know, and chocolate too. You can do some cool things like with, with like PB Lean and that kind of stuff with chocolate. You know, and, and that could be really good, especially if you're like on prep. Not that I've been on prep, but interviewed enough people on prep. Chocolate is usually the go to for a lot of oh, people. Oh, yeah. And speaking of that, people think, oh, well, you got to be so strict. You could use Blackstone's protein and make it into an ice cream. I'm telling you, it is crack. You can do anything with it. Absolutely. Well, Alexis from Made to Macro made some killer cookies. You know, uh, Megalicious, you know, Meg does some great cookies, but those things are like, I don't know, like 1,200 calories or something. But Alexis <laughs> actually, yeah, she took isolation and she made a, a like a, 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 you know, like a diet friendly cookie. And uh, Derek Milton at the Olympia gave me two of them and they were like really, really, I was eating the crumbs. So oh, it was like, really, really good. But but talk to me a little bit about um, working with Mitch Praise and something that you had said here that I wrote down that I thought was really interesting is that that he lets you eat like he, he you know he feeds you in a sense that sounds funny he feeds you like he's spoon feeding but not like that but like he you know the the real coaches the coaches that know what they're talking about they don't put their competitors through a starvation cycle to get on stage and so it sounds like he is like old school and you really like that. Yeah, so going back to my first show, um, it, when I started dieting then, you know, I didn't do a macro based, I did everything meal plan based, because my coach, I'm telling you, he knows every single thing that's going in my mouth. 
If he wants me to do a leg day, he's going to have me eat certain meals, maybe an extra carb, but we're not talking something that can fit in macros. We're talking like oatmeal, a sweet potato. Um, he, he creates each, I get about a four week phase with him each time we change our diet. So obviously now we're in a cut. So he's taking some of my foods away, um, and adding some healthy fats and more protein, but he structures everything based off of food. He won't, he didn't even want to put me on any supplements or anything until we were eating right, which is how I got into this game. Because I know when I started eating right, I felt right. I was able to push harder. So he just, I mean, he does not play when it comes to that. He knows exactly what I need, you know, even with blood work and stuff. You know, if you're not eating a certain type of fat or protein or you're missing out on those nutrients, how can you go in the gym and, and train hard? Obviously, bodybuilders, we become a little bit, you know, not a little bit. We do become unhealthy at a certain deficit. But you don't have to sacrifice all of your health. And a lot of us that get into this league are like, we got to starve. You can't eat this. You can, but it's all got to be structured. I love macros. I love meal plans. For me, I need to know what I got to eat for the day so I can be successful. If not, forget about it. Absolutely. Welcome to Rocco. Rocco's in the house. And also, Kim Fitass Haynes echoes what Melanie says. The nutrition is key. And, you know, Melanie, I think what a lot of competitors are finding themselves doing is, you know, if their coaches are basically starving them, they're relying on stimulants, caffeine, tons and tons of caffeine. And, you know, that's going to catch up to you eventually also because then you're not going to sleep. And yeah. a lot of people, you know, they go crazy with caffeine, but they don't hydrate and they don't realize that caffeine is essentially um, uh, dehydrating you in the process. That's like one of one of the, you know, like one of the catches to giving you all this energy. So it's just that I think it's good that you have a coach where, you know, you can eat according to the amount of training and where in the prep you're at. And I think that also shows that he knows what he's doing because a lot of coaches, if, if you do something wrong, God forbid you eat something and, and you need, they don't know what to do. They just, they're, they're, they're clueless. Exactly. Very true. So, so tell me, tell us a little bit about also, and I say us, you know, there's a few people in here now, but for the folks that watch it on replay. Um, yeah. <laughs> tell me a little bit about, domestic violence and tell me a little bit about the summer project that you have that it's actually not a summer project you're doing it now but but it's a project that that's going to run through the summer uh with dance also so tell us a little bit about that so in 2019 when i did the lee haney i was involved in a domestic violence relationship for a long 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 time um, and I literally had to do that prep. I mean, I had a coach and everything, but I had to do that prep on my own mentally. And we all know when you're in prep, it's a mental game. If you don't got it up here, you can't get anywhere with it. And, you know, I fought through that and I, I repeat myself over and over. We are not victims. We are survivors. So when I did the Lee Haney show, I finished that. And I was working with my videographer, Julio. We decided to do something called the Creations Project. Creations Projects is basically involving the youth, the kids in the street. We're talking about even older adults. We're talking about bodybuilders, the suicide rates of bodybuilders, because there's a lot of people in the game that we have lost big grades you know, due to suicides and, Buddha and bodybuilding. So I have made this program last year. And so far, we're going to be working with kids this summer and just giving back. You know, I do bodybuilding for me. I do dance for me, you know, shout out to On Stage School of Dance. Those kids are amazing. Check them out. But literally, this is just something that we can give back. Like bodybuilding, we, a lot of people think bodybuilders are self-centered. All we think about is how we look, you know, body dysmorphia, whatever. But how about we make an audience, create an audience where kids and people that want to do this, they can make it. You know, I've, I've seen people do a lot in the bodybuilding industry, but I would love to see more of us giving back. We have that power. You know, it's easy to take a selfie in the gym, be like, hey, look at me, check in 12 weeks out. But who are you really influencing? We have to make it powerful. We have to make people feel like, yo, I want to do something. I want to get out the streets. So that's where my program is this year. And I have a group called the Misfits. And what we do is, again, we just prevent suicide. We prevent domestic violence. People need help. You'd be surprised. The person sitting next to you could be smiling, but they could be dying inside. And I feel like that's going to change a lot of things in the bodybuilding game because a lot of us bodybuilders do feel alone. You got people that say, 
Well, you look sick. You're extra tiny. What are you doing? No, I'm not sick. I feel good. I'm confident and I'm training harder than I ever have trained before. So yeah, we're called the Creations Project. And it's just a little something I'm doing this summer for the kids. I don't want to be like every bodybuilder in the game. We're all different. We're all special. We're all unique. I just want to give something back and I'm about my word. Hear me. It's going to happen. That's awesome. And you're right. I mean, you know, you... You, you know, suicide is, 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 it's like really the silent killer because you just, you just don't know. I mean, look at Robin Williams, for example, you know, here's a guy, he was celebrated. He was rich. He had a great family. He seemed to have good help. And, you know, and, you know, you just, there's just no, you just, you just don't know. Like you said, the person next to you could be sitting, smiling and literally dying inside and you would have no idea exactly. at all. You know, and then and then I think also with kids, you know, because usually when we think suicide, at least I do, I have a, a picture in my head. I know it's not good to stereotype, not good to generalize, but, you yeah. know, I think of like, you know, someone in their 30s or 40s. I think of an adult. I don't think of a teenager. You know, I don't think of a child, but, you know, they commit suicide, too. And it's, it's horrible. But, you know, and, and, and so I think it's I think the fact that you want to help in any way, shape or form is very, very noble. And the fact that you want to use bodybuilding to, you know, like reach people, I think is amazing. And I think it's great that you're in the Blackstone Labs Legion. I think that that's what I think, you know, PJ wanted me to interview people in the Legion and uh, Jared Brown, call center manager. Uh, he is the person who I go to for, you know, usually go to to help me find people to interview and. You know, there's so many amazing people in the Legion. And I just think it's so important to get the word out about what we're all doing. Yeah. Not to shoot our own horn, but really, I mean, we're really trying to make a difference. You're you're making a huge difference. And it's 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 bodybuilding and dance. And I, I think that's amazing. Thank you. Absolutely. So uh, tell me a little bit about like uh, some goals that you have for the stage. Uh, we have these two projects which I think are phenomenal. I think you're going to really reach a lot of people um, with regards to competing, with regards to the Legion. Tell us like maybe what your plans are for, let's say, 2021, which is a, a crazy year. But fortunately, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. It's not 2020, thank God. Ugh. And then maybe in the next five years. So right now with my coach, what we did, because basically, like I said, I was supposed to compete in November last year, pulled out, you know, for health and because of COVID and all that. So we're 12 weeks out from NPC Battle of the River. And then if all goes well, you know, I'm going to fight for it. Um, we have nationals in Florida about two to three weeks after that. So we're just playing it by, by ear right now. So far, none of the shows are canceled. Thank goodness. Um, we're doing that. And then if all goes well, we're going to go into a nice, solid growth season. So just planning on sticking with Blackstones, promoting our work. They have fabulous supplements. And then, again, just finishing off what I'm doing with my summer projects with the kids that are coming up. But it's getting so serious with this prep. Like, I always, any kind of prep or any coach I've ever had in my life, you best believe I'm going to follow it. But this prep is very special because I've never felt this strong before for once. Because I, like I said, if you don't have that mental game right when you're prepping for a show, pull out. It's not worth it. The stage is always going to be there. And I know people hate hearing that. But this prep is really about just staying strong mentally for your health, being positive for others, even when you're hungry and want to receive fast break anything like that. So that's pretty much it. And then I'm also finishing my degree at KSU. So for the next five years, we're just going to keep it up with school, dance and bodybuilding. Um, I'm looking at a graduation date, hopefully of 2023. And um, we'll take that maybe rehabilitation for bodybuilders as I'm in school for that as well. So we'll see. Like I said, there's a lot of things stirring up and happening. So <laughs> it's all planned out. We're ready for it. Definitely. And you said you're studying uh, uh, kines oh my gosh, kinesiology? Yeah, so exercise it? science. So basically, um, it's about, you know, movements, nutrition, um, just anything you can think of. And I wanted to originally just do PT, but we're looking at 12 plus years, a fabulous degree. But because I'm involved in so many projects, I'm like, okay, let's take it back. Because you want to make goals that are attainable, right? 
And um, so I'm thinking about maybe working with dancers and bodybuilders, you know, helping them with their diet, training them to train right, not just going to do things, you know, prevent right. injuries. And that's kind of where I'm leading up to with my education. And I think, I think honestly, also, I think uh, it's great you're doing wellness. I think that's fantastic. I would say, you know, physique wise, I mean, maybe fitness might have been good for you. I mean, not physique wise, dance, dance and, 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 and aerobics wise, fitness might have been good. But physique wise, it's not a fit because fitness is like the like the figure look. So mm -hmm. wellness is it, it, it's, it's fantastic that you're that you're doing that, that that you're that you're at the right time where it was introduced. But at the same time, this is by no means to, to discourage you at all. But uh, whenever there's a new division. Now, wellness per se is not like a new division because it's been around for a long time. But I, I suspect that initially uh, there's going to be a little bit of, of inconsistency uh, in the judging. And I love the judges, but they're only human. And I agree. So it's going to take a little bit, even though the division has been around a long time, even though we know what it's supposed to look like. Whenever you start something new, you know, it, a little bit, it's going to take a little bit. And so the only reason I say that is is you know in the event that you know you don't place exactly where you think you should place it might be just you know just the, the growing pains of it all now a lot of times i tell people if you don't place where you want to place it, it's not on the judges it's not on you it's just a subjective sport it's just you know it, it comes with the dinner you know what i mean exactly. but especially when you have a new division no matter how clear cut the criteria is it's still a new division for you know so you know, but it's good that you're here, you know, uh, at the very beginning, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, um, and the only other thing I was going to say too, is I think you have so much to offer. I'm a big, big believer when they talk about when you turn professional to be an ambassador, to grow the sport, you know, to be someone the fans can approach. And I think the fact that you have such a commitment to helping people is so noble I can't think of a better investor quality than that in a professional athlete. So I, I, I definitely think you'd make a great pro. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. It's just at the end, if one person's winning, we could all benefit from it. We can all grow. You know, like this world needs so much love right now and needs a lot mm -hmm. of it. And why not support each other and inspire, you know, more colors. Definitely. Definitely. So I, I really, really appreciate you doing this interview and, um, I want to see you on my wellness competitors page and maybe we'll do an interview over there. Um, but I think that, um, you know, you're going to do big things. I mean, you all are already doing big things, but I, I definitely see you doing even bigger things. And uh, I just, I'm just so proud to, to have you in the Blackstone Labs Legion. And, uh, you know, I look forward to collaborating with you in the future. Please tag me, tag me on your post and stories on everything, on everything. Like if I was your parent like that, you know, tag me. Okay. I got you. I appreciate you guys so much for listening to me tonight. You know, be good, be kind, and be careful, and just keep on raging. Awesome. Well, thank you very, very much for thank you guys. Wellness competitor, Legion member, Melanie Maldonado. This is Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.